Well, you wouldn't know it just by driving by, but a house in Smithfield was where newly freed African Americans learned how to read and do math just after the Civil War. CBS North Carolina's Justin Quisenberry shows us why there's a new effort to try to save it. It's a, a relic. It's a memorial. The basic original fabric of the building is still there. It just needs some TLC. Under decades-old renovations lies a century and a half old history that educator Carolyn Ennis. This building would have had more windows. And Johnston County Heritage Center Executive Director Todd Johnson have been uncovering for six years. This is, you know, one of the earliest school buildings that we know of uh, for African Americans in, in our state, in our country. The house on North 4th Street in Smithfield was built in 1869 as a school for newly freed African Americans. Those were the shoulders that we are still standing on, and so many people don't know that. We just are not aware of very many Freedmen's Bureau schoolhouses left in the United States. Uh, we're not aware of another one left in North Carolina. Adele Brewer came from Connecticut from the American Missionary Association to teach. She described the new schoolhouse in a letter. It says the building is 24 feet by 48, has 14 windows, and is divided into two parts by sliding doors. It likely served as Johnston County's first integrated school until the state took it over in the 1870s and operated it until 1913. Johnson and Ennis both knew a woman who went to school in the building. Apparently it, it looks similar to, to this, so if it's restored, that's... That's what it would look like. Until the 1880s, it sat two doors down from where Ennis's church, First Missionary Baptist, sits today. And it was likely once used as the congregation's meeting place. It set the tone. It started the roots of uh, our education. The house is owned by multiple heirs and is now on the market. We realized that it might be in jeopardy. We needed to start thinking about a plan for uh, preserving it. Johnson says he hopes that some type of private entity can acquire the house and move it a few blocks away to where I'm standing right here. It's a town park, and it's located right across the street from an African-American cemetery where several teachers and students from that school are buried. It can look like a school again, I think. I think we need to know the past in order to appreciate the present. In Smithville, Justin Quisenberry, CBS North Carolina. And the real estate agent listing the house says the sellers want it preserved. She says it's always possible someone may buy the house and want to keep it preserved on the same piece of land.